Today we are going to talk about electron spectroscopy. In this chapter, we are going to talk two parts. One part is UVB's absorption. UVB's absorption is usually used for liquid samples to check the absorption at a certain wavelengths. The second part we are going to talk about uh, photoelectron spectroscopy, including X ray photoelectron spectroscopy and auger electron spectroscopy. UVV's spectroscopy or UVV's absorption is usually used to find the bound information. What kind of bound is, is exist in the molecular? But for photoelectron spectroscopy, it is used to find the bound energy. How much energy exists in the bound? Now we start to uh, dig detail into UVVs. In UVVs, uh, the signal is uh, produced by electron transition. Let's take a simple example to atoms molecular. There is a bound, but this bound is constructed by electron cloud. Let's say it's a single bound, it's uh, the electron, we draw this uh, sigma electron, sig electron at the sigma orbital. The left one is the bounding orbital. The sigma star is the anti-bounding orbital. When you shine a light on this molecular, it will excite the electron from bounding orbital to anti-bounding orbital. Then it will absorb certain energy and it will be shown in the absorption spectrum. There are three types of transition. One is m, pi and sigma electron transition. Second is DF orbital electron transition. And the third is charge transfer transition. Now we discuss more detail about m pi sigma transition. For example, we have uh, this molecular called uh, formaldehyde. The electron we can draw and uh, the we can draw a structure like this. This is an electron, non-bonding. And this is sigma and this is a pi bonding electron.
yeah, we, we can draw a C again about this. This is a sigma to sigma star transition. And uh, below is um, pi to pi star transition. How, you can see how the electron cloud change from uh, bounding orbital to anti-bounding orbital. This n pi and sigma transition is mostly exist in organic molecules and uh, inorganic anions. For example, nitrate. Uh, this DNF electron transition is usually exist in lancia, lanthanide and uh, actinide ions, and the first, the first and the second transition metal series. In transition metal. There are five four D optor mode which can interact with ligand in solution and produce absorption at different um, at different wavelengths. The, the third big category is uh, charge transfer, which is uh, usually exist in charge transfer complex. For example, um, molecular contains iron three plus ions, iron two plus ions, or iodine iodine ion couples. For example, uh, iron C plus ion that exists in the molecular, when you shine a light on the molecular, an electron will move from the organic part to the ion so that the charge transferred. But besides this, there's a surface plasma resonation that is usually exist in nanoparticles. That's why you have uh, absorption for nanoparticles in the UVB's range. The electric field of uh, light can be drawn like this and uh, the charge at the nanoparticle will move according to the Electric, electric field and um, produce absorption spectra. In uh, UVV's absorption, the most famous law is Beer's law, which are used to uh, calculate the absorption and the concentration of the solution. If you know some uh, absorption constant which is called absorptivity, absorptivity. This distance for light to pass through is usually the diameter or the length of the qubit, which you can show, which you will see in the experiment tutorial. We have the basic knowledge about UVBs, and now I will draw a simple scheme about the instrument. 
in this UV this instrument. First you have a light and uh, you have a beam splitter, some mirror and uh, the sample holder for both reference and uh, the samples that you want to measure. Then you have uh, another mirror and uh, and a grid mirror and then a uh, spectrometer. Light shine into the splitter divide into two beam one pass through reference and the other pass through sample and uh, they both pass through the grid mirror and uh, into the spectrometer then you can have uh, uh, absorption spectrum usually looks like this 